Hey there, everyone. I hope you're doing well. How's everyone going with their new planners for 2024? I just wanted to share with you how I've updated my planners for this new year, but also wanted to check in on how everyone is going so far.、Um, one thing I wanted to mention before starting is I am almost at 1,000 subscribers, which may not seem like much, but it's a huge deal for me. So, Thank you so much if you are a subscriber or if you watch my videos, I really appreciate it.、Um, but if you do enjoy my videos and you're not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing because I post some bullet journal and planner content along with a bit of digital nomad content on my channel. And if you have any questions or would like to see something specific for a future video, please let me know in the comments below so I'll look into making a video for you guys. So, while I chat with you guys, I will have up on the screen a day in my journals. So, you're more than welcome to take out your own planners and journals and join me as I、uh, sort of fill up. What I have to do for the day, and、uh, I go into the different planners and journals that I have. I also first wanted to share with you、um, an update on my 2024、uh, planner system. But first, I'll chat to you about my main planner, which is、um, the Traveler's Notebook Passport in blue. I ended up sticking with my Traveler's notebook again this year since I wanted to see if there were any inserts I could try to use. I was very curious about the Muji insert、um, that I saw in some videos on YouTube, and I had bought a stash of them previously, so I figured it would be a good opportunity to give it a go this year.、Um, I guess. I am a bit on the fence about it currently, to be honest, particularly when it comes to fountain pens,、um, but I'll get into that in a bit. So, with these Muji inserts, I settled on using my first insert as a monthly insert from January to December for the first half of this insert, and then for the remaining pages at the back. I reserved for collections that I regularly refer to throughout the year. So, I guess I'm talking about like、uh, travel packing lists, reading lists,、um, ideas for my channel, and occasionally I like to pick up my Nintendo Switch and play Animal Crossing. So, I have some lists on that too, that kind of thing. And then for my second insert, Um, this insert is more for like daily log- logging, where I write down tasks that I want to work on for that day, and I guess for short- short-term collections, like、um, things I wouldn't need for the whole year,、um, like grocery lists,、uh, wish lists, or just random lists that I don't need to refer back、um, throughout the year. So, this is something that I can just switch out as soon as I'm done with them. I don't have to consult it in the future. It's just something that I can jot down my ideas and then get it out of my head and onto paper, that kind of thing. Yeah, so、um, yeah, I, I'm liking these two inserts system at the moment. And then, because one thing I, I mentioned just previously was that the insert actually doesn't hold. Fountain pen ink very well.、Um, so I switched to the Muji gel point, ballpoint pen.、Um, this Muji insert and gel pen combination works really well.、Um, but I am a bit disappointed that I won't be using fountain pen in this、uh, insert. Like it's not too bad, honestly, but the ink it sort of spreads and it feathers、um, and it looks like. Much thicker than、uh, when I use it with the Traveler's Notebook inserts. But on, one, on, on, on the other hand, I am a bit relieved I made the switch because now I don't need to fuss about smudging the ink 
Like previously I had to wait a couple of seconds before turning the page or I had to um, like put in a blank piece of paper, like a, a blotting paper to make sure that it doesn't smudge. But now I can just quickly turn the pages without waiting for the ink to dry and uh, I guess it's been a huge plus for productivity. Um, aesthetics wise, it's also been a lot more minimalistic as well. So sometimes I do miss the look of fountain pens in my inserts and the, and the Muji pen also one thing is that it doesn't fit into the pen loop um, that comes with that I bought uh, for the Traveler's Notebook uh, cover. Yeah, so currently I just sort of like place it in the middle and then uh, put the elastic around it and carry it around this way, but it's not ideal, I guess. So yeah, it's, it's, I'm a bit on the fence about this insert, to be honest. Um, and while on the topic of minimalistic layouts, I since I reduced the number of inserts from three to only two, the notebook itself is much slimmer. And so it carries that feel of minimalism, like I'm only carrying around what I really need. Previously, I had the three inserts, so the monthly insert, um, and then another insert for weekly pages, and then another one dedicated to collections only. Um, but I found that I could combine the monthly and the collections, and then I have a more flexible system for just the daily tasks for this year. Because I found that I didn't really have many collections. Um, I didn't need to dedicate a whole page, like a whole insert just for collections. So I could sort of work around it this way. Um, before, the weekly insert also didn't have a space where I could just record random tasks that I wanted to get done in a day. But now with the daily log insert, I can just um, dot down the tasks and then if I have like a grocery list or a reading tracker, I can add that in there without worrying about the layout. It's very, very flexible. And since my husband and I share a digital calendar where we update appointments, I always just consult that calendar. So having a weekly layout is quite redundant for me. So I think this monthly insert and daily insert combination works well for me. Um, one thing I am trying to find a solution for is it's more difficult to set a time for tasks now. Um, previously, I could like assign a task just roughly to the morning or the afternoon or evening. But now it's just a random list that I jot down whenever I think of something I need to do. So for the time being, I'm putting a star next to tasks I want to prioritize. Um, but sometimes it's nice to, to have a timeline and write tasks that way. But yeah, maybe I'll think of something in the future or change it up again in the future. But the daily task system is working well for me so far. Um, also, I last year I had the goal of doing more drawing. I, in, when I was younger, I really loved drawing and a lot of creative things and stuff. And I'm trying to revisit this old hobby again. Um, and so since I have long lists for my daily tasks, I found that I have a lot of blank space on my right. And I wanted to carry that feel of minimalism. So I decided to just use like a ballpoint pen, um, like a black ink pen to draw some doodles of highlights uh, of different objects or whatever on the right side, right hand side of the page. And I'm actually really enjoying it so far. Um, I love going through Pinterest to find like pictures or going through my um, gallery to find different pictures that I want to draw and then spending just some time to, it doesn't take much, like a couple of minutes, five minutes max to draw something and it's, and it's given me so much joy at the moment. I feel like a little kid again. <laughs> um, 
And I love the simplicity of just having that black pen. And I don't have to think about different materials or, or whatever. I'm just grab a pen and then start drawing. And yeah, I found that it's helping me a lot with my creativity. I want to create more. Um, and it's sort of like grounding me, sort of like therapeutic for me as well. So I'm enjoying this a lot. And I'm so happy that I've decided to create that and include that as part of my sort of routine as well. Um, yeah. Overall, I think this current system is very compact, it's very fuss free. I did love last year's system with all the fountain pen stickers and all the decorations. But I think this year I wanted something more simple. It reminds me a lot of my original um, bullet system, like bullet journal spreads that I did when I first discovered bullet journaling. I guess our system always evolves and changes to fit our needs at the current time. So yeah, this is this year is just what I need. Who knows? Maybe down the track. Later on this year, I might suddenly decide to switch to a completely new planner, who knows, but yeah, this is what's working for me so far. What I love about the system now, it, it's more on a needs basis, like I can just add a daily log if I have some tasks, and on other days, I don't need, even need to write anything at all, I don't need an entry for that day. Um, for example, this past weekend, I went tra uh, traveling to a different city and I found that I didn't need to write any tasks down. Um, but I could have, if I wanted to, I could have written like an itinerary down. I had that option, so that was really nice. It really caters to my needs. Um, like I said, just like the original bullet journal system. Um, one thing that is a bit frustrating though is some of the tasks are very reoccurring so i do need to find a solution for these like repetitive tasks that i do uh, a couple of times a, a week like a habit tracker or something but i haven't found anything i like to add in yet so far hmm. uh, i do think i'd like to try out some different planners or inserts in the future so if you have any recommendations please let me know um, oh yes, and yeah, that was for my main planner, but I have other planners that I'm using at the moment. I have my traveler's notebook in the regular size, in the olive color, and this one, uh, it's a continuation from last year. It's my memory keeping spread. Um, since moving to Taiwan, Last year, May, I started like a uh, one year memory keeping challenge, I guess. I guess you can call it a challenge. So the Traveler's Notebook Company has like this weekly layout system, vertical layout um, inserts, um, and they are uh, six months long each. So I would need two for the year that I'll be spending in Taiwan, maybe longer, who knows, but for now it's a year. And yeah, so I'm in my second insert at the moment. I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, uh, you'll see some uh, videos in my previous videos. I talk about it a little bit more, but basically I just record everything that happens and my thoughts on the culture here and some of the core memories I've made while um, living in Taiwan and, and this one is a lot decorative I love going um, to different stationery stores and buying like stickers and stuff so I, I use a lot of my stickers for this insert a lot of my washi tapes um, I use my fountain pen for this insert and so I guess the reason why I didn't need to have that decorative um, inserts in my main planner 
was that I had already had a decorative outlet for using for this memory keeping spread. So one is for productivity, one is for creative, for funds, for my hub, for my hobby, that kind of thing. That's the idea.、Um, and recently, you may have already seen I also have a language、um, learning journal.、Um, At the point of me recording this audio, I am in the middle of my second, no, my third month.、Um, I started in the start, at the start of December.、Um, yeah, and I'm at the start of February in this, and I'm loving it so, so much so far.、Um, and once again, I've already talked a lot about it. Uh, in my previous videos, so maybe I'll link it in the cards、um, so you can check it out.、Um, I, I love everything about it, there's nothing that I would change,、um, but I do want to encourage myself to, I guess, use longer sessions of language learning. So, the, the purpose of this journal was I wanted to learn Chinese before. And I found that I, I was a little bit overwhelmed. Like, I wanted to dedicate one hour or two hours per week、um, just to do Chinese learning. But sometimes I felt like, oh, if I'm going to sit down and learn Chinese, I'm going to go really deep and I'm going to go into it and I'm going to learn a lot. And I was a bit over ambitious. And because I had that idea, I often found that I would postpone it, thinking, oh, today I don't have much time, I'll do it tomorrow. And then the next day, oh, I don't have time again, and I'll do it the next week or something. So I never really got around to learning Chinese. But the purpose of this new journal is that I'll do something a little bit every day.、Um, And I had these different colors for different skills that I wanted to focus on, like vocabulary reading, listening, grammar. And then I also wanted to record、um, every time I had a private tutoring session with my tutor. And、um, the idea was like five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes.、Um, and that, would, that consistency would help me to learn and improve Chinese. And I am. Loving that sticker system, like it's like I'm gamifying, gamifying the process. I love collecting these stickers on my monthly spreads to show the progress that I've made and the different skills that I'm focusing on.、Um, and I love how easy it is to pick up this journal and to add a little bit every day. So, yeah, I'm, it's working so much for me, and I highly, highly recommend that if, if you have that same problem with me that I had, that you are, are a little bit over ambitious sometimes when it comes to learning a new skill to your own detriment, <laughs>、um, this might be a good system for you.、Um, on the flip side, though, sometimes if I do have that time, though, Um, I found that I'm a bit like I'm satisfied with just doing that 15 minutes when really I could continue、um, and actually do the whole hour. So, yeah, because、uh, in the back half of this journal, like it divides the lined pages into different sections. So, the idea is I will, if I'm busy, I will just fill out one of those sections. It has eight pages. Sections per spread, and I would just complete one section if I'm busy. But on days where I could continue learning, I'm satisfied with just completing that one section when really I could just fill out the whole page if I wanted to. And, the, and, and that mindset of that one section per day sort of is limiting my desire to continue learning Chinese. I hope that makes sense. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But overall, it is、um, working for the purpose that I have、um, set up this system for. So I highly, highly recommend if you have that,、uh, if you're facing the same、uh, problems as I am as well. 
yes. So yeah, so this is the basic, um, the three planners that I have journals that I have. The main one, the traveler's notebook passport size for the to dos, planning, whatnot. The regular traveler's notebooks for my memory keeping, and then it is the Midori twenty twenty four diary, um, which is for my language learning uh, journal. Yeah, so this is a, this is the basic system for this year.、Um, I would also love to know what kind of changes you've made to your planner system for twenty twenty four, and if it's going well for you.、Um, if you also have any recommendations, I'd love to know. So please write it in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching, especially if you've made it this far to the end. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, and I'll see you. Bye bye.